Hi guys and oops, restart. Hi guys and welcome to Sheltered. I actually recently got this because I watched um, Markiplier play it and I was really interested in it. So I already have one save file, which I'm doing okay on. Not too bad. 31 days, so we're just gonna start a new family, and that was really loud in my ear because I have the volume way too loud. Okay, so customized family. In Sheltered, you look after a family of two adults and two children. Before you begin, you can customize how each individual looks, set their traits, and also their stats. Traits and stats govern how the characters act. For example, a character with high strength is especially powerful in melee combat, which we're going to use to our advantage. Select help on the character customization screen to see detailed explanation on stats and traits. And I'm just going to go ahead and do this with you guys and set my timer so that I do not forget how long I've been recording for because I completely forgot to do that. Whoops. There we go. Anyway, so for anybody who hasn't actually seen this game yet, Sheltered is kind of, as it said, a family within a nuclear fallout, basically, and you're trying to see how long they will survive under your care. So, I wish that the thing had a randomize button so that you could just randomize names, but I think I am going to name... Well, I'm going to have a boy first, so I think I'm going to name him... Actually, it does have a randomize button. I wonder if that randomizes... Yep. It does randomize their name. So we're gonna see what we end up with. James. His name will be James then. But I'm gonna change all of the other stuff. Um... I actually like the hair color. For whatever reason, I like do their hair first. And then pick their body and all that. And then go and pick the colors because then I know what shirt he's gonna like they're gonna wear so um is that something on my nope that's something on him hmm there's like this little spot right here I don't know what that is let's have him have a tank top um we'll do those and then Choose. I'll go with green. Or that one. I like that one. Okay. So we've got hands on, optimistic, resourceful, hygienic, small eater, and courageous, and deep sleeper. Proactive. Yeah. I forgot about all the rest of those. But anyway, strength dictates damage dealt. So that'll basically mean that they're obviously stronger. Dexterity is used to work out and if attack and combat hits. So you want high strength and dexterity for your people that are actually going to go to the wasteland. And I'm going to set it up so that I have two people going to the wasteland and two people staying home. And I think one of the adults is going to stay home and then one of the adults is going to go. And then one of the kids is going to go with him. Because it's going to be this guy here who is going to be going. And then I think his daughter will go with him. But intelligence is used in recruitment attempts. Charisma is used in trade attempts. And perception is used when searching location. And just dictates your chance of item discovery. Now, you get to pick one of these for your character. And then they randomly get one of these. And you can kind of offset that. I don't know exactly how, but I will find out. Like, lazy. If you have lazy, which is move slower around the shelter and whilst exploring, all they have to do is go on one expedition, and then it will be changed to proactive. So. And for the people who I'm going to have stay in the shelter, they're going to get small eater. Because food rations will relieve more hunger, so they won't have to worry about having Big Eater, and they won't eat up as many rations. So, that's a thing. Now, he is going to be going on expeditions. So, we want Courageous, or what was the other one? 
proactive. And I think I'm going to go with courageous because that's first two attacks and an attack to kill are guaranteed to hit. So if he does decide to kill, he's going to hit them. And then we're going to look for... We might go with violent because he's going to be... He's going to be the fighter and then his daughter that's going to go with him is going to be more the... Um intelligence and charisma person so he's gonna handle the heavy lifting and then she's probably gonna be like well-rounded so next and I want them to have a mom so because I'm saying that this is a little four-person family so it doesn't have to be but it's going to um Carolyn sure let's go with Carolyn I like that name. Head type. I actually liked that hair on that last one. So we're gonna find that again. There we go. And make her a little bit lighter. And then change her hair color. Let's go with a redhead. I like redheads. And then pick. Did they add that? I didn't see that last time I made a family. I thought I went through all of them. I kind of like that one. Or that one. I think I'm going to go with that one. And then... This one. And she's going to stay a small eater. The other person might be well educated, but I don't know. His perception is okay. He's going to need good perception, though. Or, he's going to need a kid with good perception with him. So, let's see. What else? I'm going to change her top color. I kind of want it to be... Eh, that's a good color. I like the color of the pants already. And I need her... Her stats don't really matter as much. Ow, I did something wrong. There we go. Her stats don't really matter as much. Because... Whoops, my mouse got stuck. Her stats don't really matter as much. I've said that like three times now. Because she's not really going to go out. But I do want her to have something decent. Oh, wow. I might change him to troubled. Logical. I'm going to have her be well-rounded. Stop getting stuck, mouse. It keeps going to like the edge of the mouse pad. That's why. I figured it out. Let's see. Violent. No, troubled. That's what it was. 10 and 4. 8 and 6. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep him on violent because dexterity needs to be higher, so. Street smart. Whoa. If they have one like street smart for the kids, that's going to be what the little girl has. Yup. Maybe. Logical, well rounded, violent, good upbringing. Well educated, I thought, okay. We're just gonna go with well rounded for her. And then Gregory, Deborah, Christine, Joyce, Diane, Jason. We'll go with Jason. I like the name. Okay. Make him just a little bit lighter because of his appearance. And then we'll go with that hair. And I like the black. Well, Maybe he'll have the red like his mom. Come on. There we go. Uh, body type. Let's see what shirt we like. There aren't very many. Oh, I'm to have jeans. I kind of like the dark jeans. I know. I'm weird. Let's see. Top color. I want different colors for everybody. <laughs> Alright, he's going to be the one that stays home, so he's probably just going to be well-rounded as well. Or something like that. I think know it all. Know it all would be the best. Because that's just three across the board. Yeah. We're just going to go know it all. And then they're going to have a daughter. Karen. Elizabeth. We'll go with Elizabeth. And Elizabeth is going to have... Mm, she could have that hairstyle. I like that hairstyle. 
Oh, my foot got stuck. Go with something kind of... Actually, I like that. So, And then that. And then the top will be a pinkish color to match. Oh, nope, there's no pinkish color. Gosh darn it. We'll go with white. Then, and then she... Oh, wait, I forgot his... Okay. I need something that is going to be good. So his and, well, I was going to say they could be hands-on, but I need small eater. Because I want to make sure that they're not going to eat all of our food. Because in the beginning, food is so hard to come by. I had so much trouble in the beginning with food. But I want to make sure, I want to keep this part in, and you guys can skip past it if you don't want to watch it. Because I just, I wanted to keep this part in. What was he? He was courageous, right? Yeah. So I think she is going to be, I don't know, if, like if she's proactive, will that make him move faster? I don't think so. She is going to be... Um, a light sleeper, or no, deep sleeper. Tiredness stat decreases faster, or slower. Yeah, faster. <laughs> yeah, so that she'll be able to get up. Because that was another problem that I had. So we've got James, who is courageous and violent, because strength and dexterity, his perception is three. We have Carolyn, who's a small eater and well-rounded. We have Jason, who's a small eater and a know-it-all. And then we have Elizabeth, who's a deep sleeper and... I want to find one that has a good perception. Seven. And then Charisma. I think Charisma is the one for trades, right? No, yes. I don't really care about recruiting, so I'm just going to go with this one. Because if she has high perception and she's going to go with James, then that means, why is there another dots up here? That's weird. I didn't notice that before. I'm so random. Anyway, um, if she has a higher perception, that means that they're going to find things quicker and they're going to find more things in spots. So, that's how that goes. And then the family name is going to and Dobson and Gizmo. So they are the Dobson family with a pet cat named Gizmo. And I kind of like the cats because they're a little bit easier, just a tad. Actually, I think I'm going to change her hair to black. Just because it kind of matches. Hair color. Actually, nope, there we go. There we go. Actually, I mean, I like that, but it's not practical. I'm going to go with that. Anyway, there we go. The Dobson family with their cat Pixel. Not Pixel, Gizmo. I've been watching someone else on YouTube who has their cat named Pixel, so excuse me. But this one and this one are going to go out on expeditions, and this one and this one are going to stay home with Gizmo. And now I know how to play. Um, I really like the cat because it only eats every other day, so you have a little bit of an easier time with things because it only eats every other day, so it only needs one can per two days. So you're not wasting food on the pet, and I really want to try to keep everybody alive, so fingers crossed. Okay, let's see. View for anybody who hasn't seen this. We're alone. We're alone, but strong. Our family lineup is James, Carolyn, Jason, Elizabeth, and our pet cat, Gizmo. It was lucky we stumbled across this abandoned war shelter. It seems to have seen better days. Maybe with some elbow grease, we can get it into good shape. Anything is better than where we came from. Which is true. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and have Caroline. Let's see if we can upgrade this. No, we can't. Okay. So, we need one more hinge... Oh wait, no, that's the wrong one. This one. <laughs> 40 or 5 wood, 10 nails, and 5 plastic. So, if we have a level 2 workbench, we can actually make better stuff because we need it. Um, 
like right now we can only craft tier one stuff and that is a mop and bucket you know we can make another water butt we actually need to make another shelter room so that i can have the bathroom and there's a yeah the bucket toilet which we're not using we are going to make once we get it we're going to make a bed we can't make a satchel yet but that's going to be like on our list of things to do and we are going to make i know here we go here's the other shower i know that's the toilet makeshift toilet and i don't know if there's another shower in here i don't think so and we're also going to work on making a small freezer at some point if we have enough stuff to be able to because I want to try to set up snares as soon as possible so I think we're gonna have um and yes you can have multiple people working at the workbench so we're gonna go ahead and have whoops Jason here no 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 Jason's gonna make another room so we're gonna have a room right here and this room is gonna be our bathroom all right, and then Carolyn, whoops, I keep going past them. You are going to upgrade the workbench to level two. You two look like you're kind of okay. Yeah, well, you just got here, Elizabeth, that's why. And then we don't have any of this stuff because, yeah. So they're gonna go on an expedition right now, actually. So we're gonna set up an expedition between the two of them. You just hit next person. You can't go back, like that's one thing that bothers me. You can't go back. So actually I'm gonna close that because I wanted to see what everybody's bad traits are. He is courageous and he is a light sleeper. That is really bad for him. So I think I read online that if they are a light sleeper, you can, um, uh, what was it? You make them as tired as possible until it comes up with the fact that they are tired. And then you sleep. Or something like that. I'll have to look it back up because I do not want him to be a light sleeper. That is really bad for him. She is a small eater and she is a hands off. I need to find out how to fix that because she's going to be staying home. Jason is unhygienic, which is again, really bad. I just got really unlucky with these guys, except for Elizabeth, because, whoops, sorry, I hit the mic. Um, because with, with, with her being wasteful, that doesn't really matter. Even though she's wasteful, she is not, um, she's not going to be home to use that, so she's not going to be here to be wasteful because wasteful makes it so that wasteful makes it so that they will um, they won't get as much stuff whenever they're deconstructing things so we're probably gonna go ahead and just hit this farm this school and this house because that is all I am willing to take because whenever you want ex whenever you go on expeditions you use up water and we're only gonna have five water left after they get back. So that's not good. And then I wanna see where all the towns are. There's a town over here. There's actually two. One town and this is another town and then these two things. And then this is probably all another town. And then this is another town. So we've got three decent sized towns. And as I start creating more water butts, we're gonna be able to go farther out because we're gonna have more water. Ow, ow. And with this game, you always want, move my mic a little bit. You always want to take, you always want them to have gas masks on, always. Whoops, that was the wrong button. So left click, equip. And then his strength was eight, so he's gonna equip a pipe. And I will probably have her equip a pipe, even though anything, sure, strength's not high enough, but it's better than nothing. And it's always better, in my opinion, to take two people with you if possible, 
because you have more inventory space that way. If you were to only take, let's say if I was only to send Mar or, uh, James out, he would only have six inventory slots. Elizabeth, being with him, is going to give them 12. So, and then you can also click on this here, this clipboard, and look at, whoops, I hit the mic again, I'm sorry. You can also do that to look at the integrity of all of your stuff. So the generator is at 63%, the oxygen filter is at 65 and the water filter is at 55 I will probably get them on that after this. We have 10 food right now, so we're good for a little while. We also have five anti-rads and six bandages. So, speed up. Incoming radio transmission, except... Hello, Elizabeth here. We've stumbled, we've stumbled across a small farm, and it looks like it might have some good loot. Want us to look? Yep. Take a look. Skip through. Okay. This is the good part. So we're going to take this. We're going to take the food. We're going to ignore the paint can. We don't need the mannequin arm. We're going to take these and this and the nail and the motor and the limestone and the metal. Basically, we're going to take almost everything. And I think I'm going to bring the water just because, because who knows when it will rain. Actually, I'm going to take as much as I can that looks like I need it. We won't need coal because I don't have an incinerator, so. Um, yeah. I mean, we'll take coal later on, but I want to save space. Okay, so you guys continue on your journey. We need to find... The things that we need are... We're gonna need leather and it's basically it because I want to make as many satchels as I can. I want three or six leather because I want to make two satchels which gives them more inventory space. And then once this gets done they're gonna make probably the makeshift shower and then the makeshift toilet because I'm not making a bucket toilet. All right, so keep it going, guys. Here we go, accept, search. Okay, kiddo, I know you're sleepy, but you gotta craft a bed first. <laughs> and then, here, I'm gonna put the bed right there. And then you can sleep. And then you go ahead and craft Le toilet. And you want the toilet as far from your food as possible because you don't want it to contaminate your food, which is the thing that happens. So let's see what we've got. We have that. We don't need more pipes right now. We are grabbing any hinges that we can. Those we aren't going to need at the moment. I don't know if you can keep books, metal, one of those, we need cement. I don't really use motors very much from what I've seen, not yet anyway, so I don't have a recycling machine. I'm trying to see what we could dump. We could dump the limestone, take, what was I gonna take? I was had something in my mind. I think we're gonna grab the books because eventually I want to craft a bookshelf, so I'm going to do that. And then fast forward. And I'm doing that with left shift for anybody who wants to, or has played this game or wants to know how to play. And I'm going to stop once they're back from their expedition. We're just going to get involved. I should have read that. I'm sorry. I will stop once this expedition is over. Hey there, hold up. You are not talking to him. You are. Confirm. Can I help you with something? Do you have a good place to stay? It's hard to find a decent, decent roof nowadays. I'm willing to work for a nice place to stay. What you say? What do you say? That's a little typo. His name is Larry. Um, we don't have the space right now. We just got there. And I don't have the oxygen filter upgraded, so there's not enough oxygen for you. 
This is hard. I'm sorry, but I don't think we are going to be able to let you in. Maybe once we're on our feet a bit more, we will take on more people. You're probably stuck to the ceiling with food and water, hoarding it all to yourself. I know your game. You're a sick individual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Don't care, Larry. Your opinion means absolute nothing to me. Say accept. Examine. <clears throat> that was a bad. That's limestone. I don't care about limestone. We will take as many books as we can, because I don't know how books work. Um, and we don't need batteries or limestone or paint. We're good on pipes. We don't need sand or circuit boards. So they should be on their way back now, I think. Because I think they just hit up the small house. So yeah, they're on their way back. Because we went here and then here and then here. So they're on their way back. All right, let's see. Carolyn, you are also then going to make lay shower. Can it go any closer? Right there. Okay. Zoom on through. I know you're sleepy, dear. All right, they're here. Their perception went up. We are just going to take all. So did the books go? Yes, they did. Okay, so the books are sitting here. I know that before they wouldn't. So, let's see. I don't like that they all have to share a bed. Do we have any? No. I need it to rain. I need rain. Okay, let's see what we can make. We need the mop in the bucket, but I'm going to do that once I have another room, probably. No, ho, ho, I need one more nail. Dang it. I need more storage space. And I need an oven. How much? What was the thing that I needed that uh, blah, 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 had hinges? There was something that I was going to make that had hinges. I don't remember what it was, though. And until I can get more parts and stuff, I'm only going to make small water butts because they take up less space. And if you make two small water butts, you're getting more water for less price than a medium water butt. So, because if you look, this takes six plastic and three rubber and a duct tape. Two of these. Oh, wait. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, wait, yeah, no, I'm right. Because for this, it only stores 30, but these store 20. So if you make two of these, you're getting 10 more out of it than that. For 8 and 4. So maybe I'm only going to craft these ones. I don't know. I need opinions. But we're going to see if we can't fit another one somewhere. I'm actually going to cancel that. I need another bed. I need a place for another bed. Elizabeth, can you feed the cat? And then we're going to have you craft. Um, We could use another bed, but I don't think I can make another bed. Like I said, we would need three more nails, and I'm saving up nails for this. So, we're going to make a bedroll thing, or a sleeping bag. See if that will fit right there. So that we have another something to sleep on. And then we need the mop and bucket, because they need to be able to clean the shelter. Alright, come on dude, hurry up. Anybody who needs to sleep... You go ahead and drink some water. I like having like full control over them. You can go to sleep then. And you can go to sleep. He's a small sleeper, so he'll have more sleep from that. And then I want you, this is the toilet. Use the toilet. And then I will have her get some water. And I think I'm going to go ahead and end this part here because it's been a little bit long. In the next part, we will hope and pray 
for some rain, we will probably try to find space to put more water butts down because we need more of them. I will probably rearrange the shelter a little bit because if I move this, I should be able to fit a couple more water butts over here, like maybe two more. So hopefully we can manage that. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys later. Bye.